is raining and I'm just queuing up outside Marks and Spencer's full. Um, I'll sing until my lungs give out your beautiful and Spencer's to go in. There's only a little queue thankfully and she said there's not a queue inside. Hi and welcome back to my channel and if it's your first time here welcome my name's Simone. I'm a mum of three currently living on a small island between the UK and Ireland. The name of it is called the Isle of Man. So today I decided that I was going to go to Marks and Spencer's. Ryan was waiting for me in the car and this is the first time that I've been to a supermarket in quite a while. Marks and Spencer's on the island had opened their clothes section in the middle of May and the children really needed some new leggings and tracksuit bottoms. So here I am having a look around the, um, the clothes section and if you want to check out a 70% sale haul that I did then please check that out down below. So I said in that video that I really really like the quality of Marks and Spencer's clothes. The kids clothes they've got such beautiful items and at the end of um, each season they usually have a big sale on um, but you can get some bargains like cheap t-shirts, tracksuit bottoms, leggings and things like that. Like here are some of the really nice clothes that they've got in the sale. I got Navy some of these jeans here which were reduced from £9 to about 3 or £4 I think it was. That, that's around about $5. And then I got Navy these leggings. So you can buy um, three items and you only pay for two. And you can mix and match which is great. So I could buy Micah, Navy and Caleb something. If you are new here I have three children. So yeah it's really good um to for me to be able to buy them sets the children's um like particularly the baby items they've got some really really cute little outfits as you can see and the clothes wash so well so now i'm making my way to the woman's section because my mum was staying with us and she hadn't bought any shorts and the weather was starting to get nice so they had a 50 percent sale off on all their items and they had some really really nice stuff the winter jumpers in here are gorgeous and they wash really well. Like these jumpers here, these cable knit ones were supposed to be £19.50 and they were reduced to £9 which is about $10. I could have gone crazy here honestly but I was there to buy food shopping and I didn't buy anything from here because I'd just recently done a haul from everything5pound.com so I'd got some nice jumpers for £5 anyway. Um, so they had like lots of different knitwear and they also had denim shirts and lots of work items and the colours that they've got like that black jumper there I really, really like it. That's my style, I'll just love cable knit jumpers, loose ones. So yeah they had loads of blouses and this shirt was really nice, this denim one. I'm not, I can't remember how much that was and I was speaking originally but at my the volume wasn't very good so that's why I'm doing this voiceover. They've got a huge selection of different shoes, casual shoes and work shoes. They didn't have a lot of shorts to choose from but I did find a pair for my mum and they were reduced from £25 to £9 and she really liked them. So these are all different types of loose trousers, all half price and the underwear section is so nice as well. Um, so now I'm in the food hall and it was quite busy and there was markings on the floor so you had to go one way I'm picking up some kale here I think there was 200 grams in there and it was for a pound I think there's a misconception with Marks and Spencer's that it can be really really expensive and that it's really posh I would say that it is quite posh but you can get some real good bargains they've got some really lovely salads items and here I am having to go around the other way because there was too many people and with the social distancing I wanted to make sure that I kept my distance. They've got a huge flower selection and plants. Uh, you can see the markings on the floor there. So again there were too many people so I decided to go around that way. They had a sale on so they had 
apples, four apple, I can't get my words out, sorry, four apples for 65p, the pineapples were 65p, which is about 80 cents, and they had passion fruits, and they also had ripe mangoes for that price as well. These pot potato chips, they were so delicious, they had hummus flavour, a couple of different flavours, and I got them for my mum. Um, I don't think they're fried in oil, so they're slightly healthier, I think it's on the pack. So we're getting some cooking um, onions here, and they was only a pound. And then the, the carrots were cheap, 40p or 50 cents for 500 grams of carrots, or 70p for one kg of carrots. And they're really nice and sweet from there. The broccoli was 60p each, or about 80 cents, and they're really nice. I like that they don't have a lot of plastic packaging here. You can get some loose items. The asparagus was reduced from £4 to £2.68. That's the only vegetable that my son Caleb doesn't like. He really can't stand this bad asparagus. So here are the mango. Um, they were all very, very ripe. Um, I did manage to pick one though, and the kids really loved it. So they usually have them some free fruit at the front of the store for if kids come in as well. I'm really sorry about the blurriness of my phone camera, but what I was showing you then is some pots that you can mix up with mix up, mix up with some vegetables or meat. Sorry. So here we are buying some more um, vegetables, and in this section, they have like buy three for ten pounds. So they have slow cooked beef brisket. Indian spice lamb shoulder um, like ribs they have all sorts of different things like marinated chicken um, yeah all for three ten all for three for ten pound it's 11 o'clock at night at the moment and that's why I can't speak properly because I'm so tired so I picked up a bag of lime and lemons for one pound seventy so that would have been about two dollars and I was trying not to film everybody's faces that's why my camera's down a lot of the time so here are some more meals that they've got, so they've got lamb shanks in gravy and they've got roast beef, turkey, legs of lamb, all sorts of different types of meats. And then here you've got the fish, se fish section, they've got um, like scampi and cod, haddock, all different types of fish, you can get it battered or you can get bread crumb crumbed fish and you can get 3 for £10 across all of these items mix and match so you could choose chicken or fish there's all sorts of different things that you can choose from in here and these you've seen probably on a haul before beer battered haddock and scraps um, so you like I said you can get three packs of them and then they've got fish cakes as well so they've got quite a wide variety of different items some of the shells were empty though because I think it was about four o'clock at this time this is all the chicken section, so they've got buttermilk chicken, battered chicken, breaded chicken, wheat free chicken, all sorts of different types. And then on the end here is usually where you find the new items and they've got a southern fried spatchcock chicken and that was £8 and this is something that my husband likes so I bought him one of them and he really enjoyed it. Um, he shared it with the children and I had a vegan chicken Kiev that day I think and it was so delicious. So down this se section you've got lots of cooked chickens and different meats and then you've got sandwich fillers and there's lots of different like salsas, hummus, dips um, for like tapas and then you've got a large selection of hummus with different flavours so my mum wanted the roasted pepper one which, which I got. And then we've got extra virgin olive oil hummus as well. And then over there you've got lots of different like cured and cooked meats. Down here you've got fruit on the left hand side. And then you've got lots of takeaway type meals. So you've got Thai, Chinese, Indian, American, all different types. And you can mix and match. Talked about this on my other haul below which I will leave down in the um, description box if you want to check it out. So round here, I had to go around again because there was too many people. So there's melons, pineapples, strawberries, grapes, all different types of fruits in that section. And where I'm taking you now is to a dine in for £12. So you can get like a sirloin steak or a vegetarian or vegan option. You can choose a side of like garlic bread or fries or roast potatoes and then you can have like a vegetable or a salad and then on the top there is like key, lime pie or 
sticky toffee pudding, all different things to choose from, that's for two people. So on the end there, there's barbecue stuff, and then I'm taking you over to the plant section, which is my favourite bit. Their, their plant kitchen is amazing, they have got so many different items. This cottage pie is made out of lentils and it was reduced, so I bought one of them. They had these, they were so nice, chorizo um, puppies really really nice um so i'm gonna try and put in some photos of that later on and then they've got vegan pizzas and i don't think you can tell the difference between that and the non-vegan they've got pies this sweet potato i can't honestly i can't even speak tonight i'm so sorry sweet potato curry they've got chewy um, not chewy rolls um churros i really love them spring rolls and these dirty fries which i bought before and they're so nice vegan chicken nuggets um fake chicken pieces and they've got the vegan burgers which have got beetroot in them and they're so nice and there's the chicken kiev that i was telling you about the mozzarella sticks are made out of soy and they're really nice as well that is a gluten um, free section and then they've got lots of different types of soups which are about three dollars then here is their italian section it is vast they've got lasagna tagliatelle the all different types of pasta dishes um three for seven pound or three for about nine dollars then they have these family size like lasagnas as well here they have a large variety of different types of pies cheese pie steak pie beef pie all different types of pies and usually would feed a family of four or five for about four or five pounds and then I'm taking you back over to the Italian section because I was picking up um, a lasagna and I had a, I think I had a vegan lasagna um, that night and the rest of the family they shared this beef lasagna so my mum was there at the time and I made a salad and I had to call it bread with that so again I'm hoping when I'm showing you everything I've bought that I've taken some pictures of that and then I'll show you what it looks like dished up just to give you an idea of what types of meals I make. I find lasagna, I can make it myself but it's usually quite dried out. So there's a nice focaccia bread, they've got all different types of garlic breads. Um, really really nice selection and everything is around about two or three pounds or three, yeah about three dollars fifty I'd say. And then I'm going over to the section where, you know, like if you want a traditional Sunday dinner in England, you should put in roast beef and beef and things like that. So they've got like um, roast potatoes, Yorkshire pudding's already done, and then they've got lots of different desserts. I can't tell you how nice the desserts are from here. They've got chocolate lava cakes, apple tart tatan, cheesecakes, um, pancakes, custards, um, there's a um, syrup sponge, key lime pie, all sorts of different puddings. Down there is the dairy section and sandwich section. Then they've got a wide variety of different beers, international ones, and lagers, wine, and spirits. So here I'm looking for some bitter for my mum. She likes to drink um, bottles of bitter, so I've picked up some Doom Bar, which is one of her favourites. And they're usually about for 750 mils. I think a bottle of that is about two pound fifty or three dollars. Um, and I was just trying to find some on the other side that she's never tried before. They had champagne down there, and then here's my favourite oat milk. If you've seen, oh sorry, butter first for my mum. Then I'm picking up the oat milks. If you've seen my um, hauls before, you'll know that I really like the oat milks from here. They are fortified with. B12 and iodine and some other vitamin, vitamins and minerals. Here is the snack selection. They've got a wide variety of different crisps, nachos, um, rice cakes. There's so much to choose from and lots of luxurious items as well, I would say. The freezer section isn't massive though. So I was just showing you the markings on the floor because at the time I didn't even know that you only had to go one way. They've got lots of different cheeses to choose from and I was picking up some Vio Life vegan cheese here for me and the rest of the family was having some mature cheddar and I picked up some feta cheese as well I think it was and halloumi the frozen desserts are really nice as well we've got Belgian chocolate cake um, rhubarb crumbles um, ice cream strudels um, croissants that are frozen and you just put them in the oven then they've got 
lots of different frozen fruits. They have a bakery on site, so they bake the donuts and or fry the donuts. And um, here I am looking at the fries and the chips and things like that that they've got. These French fries are really really nice, so I picked up a bag of them. Then there are the tortillas and the other different snacks that they've got as well and they're all a pound then there's lots of different jams to choose from they've got like unusual um, like flavors as well that I've never tried before so every now and again I like to try a different type of jam from there and then they've got a vegan Nutella down there and peanut butter almond butter they've got granolas um, branded ones and they're all um, packed I love those brown bags that they come in they look so nice and then they've got regular oats, different coffees, cleaning products, and then they've got lots of different eggs to choose from as well. Um, some of them are organic. Um, apple cider vinegar, different types of oils and olive oil. They've got Spanish olive oil and Greek one. And then they've got like tamari sweetened sour sauces, lots of different condiments. The bread is so cheap, 65p for Whole meal or white bread and that's about 80 cents I would say my voice is going I really need a cup of tea right now um, so they had a sale on some of the bread so here is I think that is made out of chickpeas and that one's made out of lentils and they're about one pound each or two dollars they've got all different types of brioches and bagels sourdough bagels crumpets pancakes um, iced buns it's honestly you could just go crazy in this shop they've got so much stuff to choose from and i'm just showing you the sourdough bagels at the top and they were reduced um to i can't remember how much they were they were really cheap and they're really tasty then they've got a um, gluten-free um section for chocolates the tomato sauce is only 60p or ketchup which is about 75 cents and then here is all my stuff on the conveyor belt. I bought a lot because there were six of us at the time and this was going to last us for over a week. This is the sandwich section. A lot of it is sold out. A lot of people when they're working come in here on the lunch break and pick up the sandwiches. They were the first supermarket to sell packaged sandwiches. I think I talked about that in one of my last videos. So I've got all my bags and I'm on my way to go back to the car and like I said again I'm so sorry for this really um, blurry footage but this phone especially indoors is not so good and I was just so conscious about other people being around and the social distancing that I just wanted to get in and out but I really wanted to show you what this supermarket was like especially to my American audience so I'm going to show you what I've got when I get home Are you helping? Oh, I just want the milk. I want the Grandma milk. just wants a cup of tea, a cup of coffee. Shells and different items and things like that. So this shop came to about £92, which I think is about $100, but I'm going to try and put prices in in English money and American and I'll put in the video from last week and other shopping halls if you want to check them out as well. I think a lot of people in England was quite surprised at how much I got from the price because Marks and Spencers is quite a pricey place but you can get bargains which I'm going to show you now. So um, we do have some things left from last week and previous weeks like rice past and things like that so I've not got all that here and I've got some plant based items left as well. So we've got cooking onions here and they're a pound. These four stone baked garlic breads, I was talking about them and showing you when I, when I was in the store, all of the Italian selection, they've got a lot. I wanted to film more thoroughly, but it was quite difficult to do so with the social distancing. It, I was just trying to be mindful of other people and I didn't want to slow people down. So we've got them there and then we've got these carrots, which were 70p for 1kg, which I think is cheap. Three peppers here, they were £1.50. Then you would have seen these, the apples and the mangoes, passion fruit and pineapple were only 65p, which I think is like 80 cents. We've got these frozen berries, blackcurrant, sweet cherries and blackberries. You'll, if you've seen up my other hauls before, you'll know I'll always buy loads of these. I've got some blueberries left, so I didn't need to buy them. So we usually, I have these, I defrost them, eat them in the morning, or I juice them, or the kids have them in the porridge. 
I've got this vegan grated mozzarella cheese. Um, I really like this sometimes sprinkled on my cut peppers and tomatoes in the morning. And celery, I cook all that up. Um, and then it's also good on pizzas as well. So yes, that's vegan cheese. Then I've got a bag of this kale, which was a pound. Then I got these popped potato chips for mum and the kids. The hummus and lime flavour. They had other flavours as well, which you'll see on the other video. I got mum these ginger snaps, snap biscuits, and rich cheat tea biscuits as well. Mum, we don't usually buy biscuits, but since mum's been here, she likes having them, so we buy her the biscuits. Um, then I've got caster sugar for, for baking because I made um, a vegan brownie recipe the other day. It was so nice, and um, I've run out of sugar now. So, and also, it, um, we're going to try and make some more. We made dandelion honey. I want to try and find some other edible flowers to make some more like civet honey with, so that's why I've got that. Now you must be thinking, why have I got all of these milks? But I have oat milk lattes usually every day, and the kids have porridge, so I've got these. And I did say in the last video, I like that it's got iodine, vitamin D, B12, and calcium in it, and it's the same with the soya as well. So I've got a couple of them as well. Then here I've got some cookies um, for the kids for later on to watch a movie. There's five cookies in there, and then an apple turnover cake. They have they have a bakery there, so they've got like different homemade cakes, and they're usually about one pound, one pound fifty, no more than two dollars. Then then biscuits, I think they were a dollar fifty, and then this is like a donut, uh, but it's got a bit squashed. <laughs> And then I showed you the plant-based items in my last one. They've got quite a good selection. Well, they had a sale on, and these dirty fries should have been three pound fifty, but they're two pound forty-five, which I think will probably be about three dollars. This cottage pie I've had before, and it's so nice. And this was reduced to two pounds. Um, I don't know whether this is for. Oh yeah, it just serves one person, but you do get quite a lot in there. It's just a bit messed up now because um, it got moved around in the bag. I've never seen these before, these chorizo puppies. These are vegan, made with red pepper, smoked pap paprika and roasted garlic. Um, so I'm looking forward to trying these out and I think the kids will like them as well. What I like about Marks and Spencers is, is that they don't usually have any artificial flavourings or preservatives and colourings and stuff like that as well. I'll be back in a minute. Baby was just getting upset. So the jams, they've got different types of jams, which are showed. Um, this is a plum and damson soft set jam. And like I said, it's not got any like glucose syrup or anything like that. It's sugars, sugar yeah. plums, damson, lemon juice, and pectin. So it's, you know, it's ingredients that you can have at home. So yeah, I'm glad about that. And then we've got this sweet chili hummus for my mum. So again, not got any like weird stuff in it. I don't know if you can see it. So it's got cooked chickpeas, um, wrapped seed oil, water, tahini, sugar, jalapeno, chili peppers, concentrated lemon juice, red chili puree, white wine, salt, and corn flour. So I've got this mince here. So the meal ideas for the rest of the family. So this is for me, and I've got other vegan items. If you'd be interested in me talking about a meal plan for myself, I can do. But for the rest of the family, it's going to be. Um, spaghetti bolognese or oh, Ryan will be making like a um, South African mince curry and he makes these fat cooks with them um, which are like they're a cross between bread and like a donut they're really nice I know they sound weird but they're really nice and he makes rice with that so that's for one day then the other day they'll be having these um, fish like we'll be making like a fish and chips and I'll be having a vegan chicken chef on that day <coughs> And then, <laughs> Micah, what are you doing, Micah? And then we've got this beef lasagna, which you would have seen on the previous video if you've watched it. This is huge. Like, it's moved a bit because of being in the car. But this will feed my mum and Ryan and the kids. There's six of us at the moment. Um, so I'll make that with the garlic bread and a salad. I've got salad stuff in the fridge. Now, this halloumi, we've got some veggie um like corn chicken burgers left so another day i'll be making up them with buns what i've got in the freezer and then i'll be making a halloumi burger for my mum so i'll be slicing this up i've got another roasted red pepper hummus there as well and then for another day 
and we've got this southern fried whole fried um, spatchcock chicken in crumbs so I'll be making a coleslaw and I've got these fries here and we'll be having that and also the fries we'll be having with the the, the, the bag's big enough to have with the, um, the the burgers as well so that's one meal two meals three meals four meals and five with the burgers that I've already got so that's five meals in total and like I said I've got other food um, for other days so it's just so that's five meals for this week um, and then we've got bread so I was showing you that these are 65p you can get white or wholemeal but I've got wholemeal and it's got vitamin D in as well so I've got two of those and then I got my mum this soft white and then I got these four sesame seeds sourdough bagels I've got some avocado so I thought I would put some on that and some chopped cut tomato tomatoes and peppers and things like that so yeah so like i was saying that's five meals and the other meals that we'll be having are this is from a previous shop it's been in the freezer shop right hall i'll link that down below so I'm making that tonight for the family um so it's um beef minute steak so they'll be having that and we're going to be making mashed potatoes and carrots and some other vegetables now the other day I'm going to be doing a three bean um, chilli, so I've got chopped tomatoes there, butter beans, kidney beans and cannellini beans, so I'll be making a curry, not a curry, what am I talking about, a chilli with that and I've got some rice, so that's what I'll be making um, on the seventh day. I also forgot these as well, I totally forgot, so I've got the butter for mum there and I've got olive oil here and then my mum wanted um, two of these beers, she likes bitters. Um, so these were, I think it was about £2.50 each, so we wouldn't obviously usually buy those. Um, and then we got some eggs because we're running low. So we've got um, 18 eggs there because the kids like to have eggs either for breakfast if they're not having porridge or they like having eggs for lunch like an omelette. Um, and then tomato sauce, it's only 65p. And yeah this tomato sauce I would say it's just as nice as Heinz it's really really delicious so I think that's everything that I've got say so, hi is that is that Micah is that Micah so um yeah I hope you liked this video and if you did please give it a thumbs up and if you're new here I would really love it if you could subscribe to my channel and click the bell icon um for when I upload but it's usually on Sundays Wednesdays and Fridays <laughs> I'll also leave a link to my other shopping haul and Tesco's in England as well so there's a whole heap of different food hauls that you can check out if you like. I've got a playlist for it. So thanks for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye. Say bye. Bye. <laughs>